Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny. I am Army Mom Strong, and we are checking out the Hand of Merlin demo. Uh, it, it's supposed to be coming out, the, well, the full game's coming out the fourth quarter of uh, this year. It says the Hand of Merlin is a turn based, road light RPG in which a Thurian legend clashes with sci fi horror. Recruit mortal heroes and explore medieval lands assaulted by an other wor otherworldly evil. I'm sorry. Search for the lost fragments of your soul scattered across the multiverse and save as many worlds as you can. I don't usually do turn based, but this sounds different and fun. I like the way the, um, the like graphics looked and the trailer, so. Let's go new game. We'll just do a first look, first impression of this demo. So we got Merlin, and the other one's locked probably because it's a demo. Um, we got translocation. Teleport to target position if the destination is already occupied by a unit. You swap places. How do I get a token? Apply two stacks of stasis to an enemy unit. Cannot act. Okay, okay, okay. Restore six points of health to a friendly unit. I like the way that one sounds. How do I get a, a thingy? I don't know. Next. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so let's select our hero. We got Bruner, Safir, Wilfred, Rana, Morgan, and Merwin. Who's Merwin? The granddaughter of King Karadok. Her royal blood has allowed her to live a life usually reserved for men. She is young and aloof and cares a little about breaking the law. But in her heart, she wants to be good in her own way. So we got 12 max health, 6 max armor, 5 movement, 0 evasion, range, and power. What about Rana? A mysterious shaman from a people of the far north. She sensed the coming cataclysm and sought the help of spirits, which led her to Merlin. 10 max, 16 health. Oh. Uh, I like her. So we have to get three heroes? Is that what it says? So, uh, let's add her. Oh, let's just get them both. And I like Morgan. So he's got 14 max health, 10 max armor, 4 power, 5 movement, 5 range. 12. Oh, he's got some base skills, though. Uh, what do you have? Slash and shield block. You have shoot and barbed arrows. Ooh, yeah, let's pick you. There we go. Those are people. Our peeps and homies, let's do it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I said, I've not practiced this game. I don't. We jump in blind. So you guys can see what the learning curve is like on a game we know nothing about. The Holy Grail. For many nights now, the spirit of Merlin has haunted your dreams. It speaks to you of a darkness from beyond this world, a darkness that will tear apart everything you know and love. This is why Merlin has reached out his hand and gathered those who are already that who are ready to stand against the cataclysm. Hear the voice of Merlin. This is your task, Merlin's voice whispers. You must seek Camelot, where the Grail awaits. Take it, then make your way across Albion to Cor Corbinic. Brave the dangers of the Marca Hispanica. Journey through Al Adanus and cross the wide sea until you reach Jerusalem. There your world will be saved or ended. Now I'm going to have to watch Merlin on Netflix tonight. The fun one, like from England. It's amazing. You should watch it. Accept the quest. After many days of travel, you've arrived at Camelot. Before you lies the heart of Albion King Arthur's... Of Albion King... A heart of Albion. Oh my gosh. The words are hard tonight, y'all. King Arthur's dream made manifest. Here you will find the grail and begin your quest. So we're going to get 33 of those. Looks like five foods, one ruby, and 16 breath points, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's enter Camelot. Camelot is almost as beautiful as it was in Arthur's day. King Gawain has done all he can to preserve it, but the passage of time and the weakness of the realm is visible in small matters. The armor of the knights does not shine as it once did. The round table is full of scat ratches. There is a sense of fraying of decay held at bay by will alone. Let's request an audience with the king. King Gawain's hair turned gray long ago, but his grip so strong as he embraces you one by one. You've come for the grail, yes? I knew one day it would be needed, as Merlin, as Merlin told us. I feel his spirit within you, as I felt it within myself a long time ago. Yet he seems diminished. He shrugs. I suppose we are all these days. I have done my best to preserve Arthur's vision, but I am no Arthur. Gawain keeps the grail inside a simple wooden box, engraved only with a single sigil of Arthur. Did you know that the grail changes its aspect according to those who carry it? It was different when I held it than when Arthur held it. I suppose that means I could never truly fulfill Arthur's path, though I have tried. Tell me, my friend, what virtue is it that you embrace? Honor, and we're going to uh, gain grail of honor, or valor. Let's do valor. 
When you take the grail, its appearance changes at Gaywin's as Gaywin predicted. He smiles. Remarkable, is it not? To witness such things helps one maintain one's faith that there are greater powers than our own, and not all of them are hostile to our own needs. But then, a sudden weakness seems to overcome Gaywin. He leans to the throne, his skin pale, the King Stewart appears and quickly ushers you out of the throne room. I am very sorry, the steward says. The king does not intend to be rude. These spells have afflicted him since the death of G Gingalian, and he must rest. He has asked me to help you, however, I so I shall do what I can. I can offer you one of two boons. This relic, which bears ancient powers, or the last remaining draught of a concoction once brewed by Morgana Le Fay for Ogier the Dane. Uh, take the relic, so we'll gain a period of resilience, or take the medicine. Uh, let's take the medicine. The steward nods and has strange concoction brought to you in a silver cup. Which of you shall drink it? Um, let's have her. I forget their names. Merwin empties the cup. It tastes of cold snow and bitter ash, evoking memories of places that I do not that do not exist. I am told it will cause your wounds to heal for a time. The steward says, "I hope it will help you. The journey before you is long, and there is trouble brewing at Carbanic. Let's begin our journey." Okay, so welcome to the Hand of Merlin. To start, open Merlin's journal to view your units. There you can change who carries the Grail and other relics by drag and drop. To close the journal, press escape. Got it. So the journal is here. Okay, so... I'm not really sure how any of this works, y'all. Where are we, what are we supposed to be... Oh, I'm so confused. Uh, nope, not you. Um, I, oh, wait, do I have to, like, look skin, though? Um, I don't know. You were here. Regular note, possible reports. A game of thimble rig. A man with an extra, extra vagantly feathered hat sits by the roadside. In front of him, on a low table, are three silver cups and a small wooden ball. Welcome, strangers. Care for a game of thimble rig? These fleet, those fleet of eye and quick of spirits, have nothing to fear from me except and me and my cups. Why, even good King Gawain himself would trust me. Uh, let's play the game. The man pops the balls under the center cup and begins to move the cups with nimble fingers. It's simple, friends. Tell me where the ball is hidden, and I'll double your wager, fair and square. The figures continue to whirl the cups around. Guess wrong, and your coin is mine. The cups have come to a stop. Now, friend, which one will it be? Uh, let's guess. Ooh, we actually have to guess. Uh, oh. Oh, he's doing it now. Okay, so let's go... Victory! We got it. We got it right. The cup lifts to reveal a little wooden ball. Nothing slips by you, my friend. You have the eyes of a hawk. Claim your winnings. You take your winnings. Ah, good. Very good. But I thought you can't do that again. Care to give it another try? Nope. I know when to walk away. I got no one to hold them and no one to fold them. Uh, so we got a regular node. Possible rewards, gold supplies, renown, some danger. And same thing there. Um, can I move this? Oh, we can. Uh, let's go... Um, yeah, let's go this way. The Bloodthirsty Brigand. As you were crossing a narrow passage in the high hills with a sheer drop to either side of you, Brigand's... Br brigand? Brigand? I'm saying that wrong. I know I am. But I can't remember how to say it right now. Suddenly block your path. You turn to retreat, but they are behind you as well. Clearly you have walked into a trap. Surrender everything you own and we may let you live. The brig Brigand? Brigand! Leader says with a leering, bloodthirsty grin. Uh, let's attempt to bargain. You sense that the leader would prefer to kill you, but his men would rather take the easy way. So as to appease his men, he offers to let you go, but the price he demands is very steep. So we can do supplies. Uh, oh, that's disabled. Disabled. So we don't have anything to do but pay in blood. Oh, great. We gotta fight, y'all. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh. Camera and unit selection. Welcome to your first battle. Move the camera with Lost. Or push in the edges of the screen with your mouse. Change the selection, change unit selection by right clicking on them in the world, left clicking on the portraits, or cycle them with tab key. Uh, I don't got it at all, but sure. Okay, so Rana needs to. So how many eight points do we have? We just have one? And how do I see? We need to kill all enemies. Oh, they're all the way over there? Um. Use your environment. When placing unit adjacent to cover attacks, from beyond the red lines are less accurate. Okay. The shield icon will like will tell you if your cover is low, granting 60% mischance. The color of the shield is so important. Red shield means at least one enemy can hit the unit without being blocked. Green shield means there are no enemies that are currently able to hit the unit. And yellow means... Okay, got it. Okay, so... 
That's green. How can people actually hit there? So if we go... I don't even think we can get up that far, can we? Okay, I'm gonna move you there. This is like a great game. You just used an ability. All of your abilities can be seen on the action bar. One for each unit. Most abilities cost action points to be performed and have properties such as range and maximum uses. Your unit starts each turn with two action points represented by the yellow diamonds. Got it. Okay, so you have... Where's the yellow diamonds? Oh, I have one action point left. Okay, so can I move you? Can I move you? Can I attack? No, they're all hidden, so I can't even attack. Uh, what is this? Run. Move to target location. Okay, and now I want you. I guess you... I can't hit them, though. That's the problem. I actually need to be able to fight back. I guess we'll bring you up here. Just go there. And you are just gonna have to move around. This is my first time I've done a game like this, y'all, so bear with me. I am completely a noob right now. Before you uh tell me how crappy I am at it in comments. Remember you were once a noob too! The unit header shows the unit's health. Armor is gray to blue and action points go up. The health points are not restored after a battle, while well, armor is. You can press U and Alt keys to cycle between unit header viewing modes. Oh wait, you can also hover the cursor over unit to see any side effects it carries. I don't got it, but we're gonna keep saying that we do. Can we... What do we have? Cast a halo aura around the unit, granting two stacks of hallowed in a three tile radius. Lasts for three turns. Uh, deal four energy to any unit and target location. I can actually like hit. Yeah, I have to say like within this area, okay. Ah, uh, oh, there's a chesticle over there. I guess let's move you back. Not a bell target. Uh, okay, let's. Oh no! Oops. Oops. Um. Or damage. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So let's move you over here. And let's move you. Uh, you're gonna go stay with her. Or him. Yeah, I know. You're gonna come. Oops. Okay. Oh! Oh, you got me a little bit. You got me a little bit. Oh, and you're gonna shoot me. Oh, I didn't even see you standing there. Oops. Mistakes were made. Oh, poison arrow, are you serious? Oh, we have one health left. I need to be able to move. You, this is heals. Uh, okay, no, I need you out of the way. You're about to die. I need you. Shoot, run, or archer vigil. Take a reaction shot against the first enemy unit that's in the line of sight. Uh, okay, let's... How many points is that? One? And that's one. Okay, so let's use this one. Oh, can I not use that one on him? Is he too close? What? Why can't I shoot this guy? Um, uh, can I shoot? I can't shoot that guy either. Well, craptastic. Let's get you. Oh, I only have one action point left. Not a valid target. I have to, like, okay, hold on. Let's get you. Uh, I kind of want him out of the way. Let's just bring it down there. I, I gotta learn, like, how to do this. So y'all gotta uh, bear with me right now. So let's barbed arrow to here. <laughs> yeah, suck okay. it. Let's shoot. Okay, so his armor's down. Oh, now he's got the... Okay. Oh, no! Ow! Oh, crap. Oh, they missed. Okay, good. Oh! Uh, oh, you're... Yeah, you're gonna go again. Okay, so... We can... We can expire. Oh, I need you take cover. Can I... You can't take cover over here, can you? Can you go here? Okay, and you... Can you shoot... There. Okay, we have 
one action point left. Uh, let's move you back here. And you can shoot. Oh, no, about target. What? I think they're too close. Target is too close. Oh, I should have gone back further. Crap. Oh, and I can't reach this guy. Shoot. Mistakes were made. Okay, let's just get you back up. You don't have... Well, you have some armor left. Oh, poison arrow. Of course you are. Dang it. Are you not going to use your... Oh, there goes some health. Okay. You're gonna shoot her again, aren't you? Why are you picking on her? Get him. Oh, you missed. You missed. Are you kidding me? Okay, Rana, I need you. her alone. You were always picking on her. I really think you had a thing for her. Okay, so I need... She doesn't have, like, really good... 
thing. She just pretty much has, like, run away. Uh, what's that? Oh, I put her right in the line. Wow. I put her right in that line. Uh, no, get, get over there. Okay, who are we on now? We're on you. I want you to shoot. Not Wilfred. The raider. Okay, two down. Okay, let's go ahead and use Archer Vigil on the next one. If, where are you? This dude moves. Can I use it on him? I can, okay. Then you, let's move you. Up. Oh no! I thought I, well, that was too many, that was two action points. That's not gonna work. That's not enough damage. It's gonna kill her. Not if we take him out first. Okay, so you up here. Can we reach? Ah, uh, we can't reach him. Crap. Um, up here. And you cannot reach him either. Okay. Um, let's go here. That does six and a damage. You have no armor, so I use that one. Oh, you're too far. Crap. Um, you're gonna have to go back there and hide. Oh. Okay, you're going up. Going this armored. Okay, okay. You don't have any moves left, but we do. So, although she can't really do much, so let's just have you go hide back there. And let's have you. point there. And then... Is it too far? It's probably way too far, isn't it? It is. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's get back here then. And... Let's move you over there. Uh, let's use you. It's still too far. Okay, hold on. Let's move you ahead. Up. And then... No, no, no! I meant to hit this! Okay, good. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Mm. Okay. We're getting there. Oh. At least this one still has armor, though, so. Should be okay. Uh, can I just switch people? Like, I want to use. Uh. I want to use her. And I want you to shoot. Him. I didn't even think I could do that. Oh. Silly me. Hey, we killed all the enemies. 49 gold, one piece of food, and I think that's red points. Searching the Brigand's hoard, you find supplies and gold most likely stolen. Uh, we can donate the loot to the first settlement we find, or we can take everything. I, let's, let's take everything for now, because we don't have a whole lot. We only have four food, and that will give us six food. There is no shame in taking these things. Their true owners are most likely dead or far away. That's where I'm going to say this is Hand of Merlin. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.